Okay, let's start this thing. Is it recording? I think we are live. So, I know that I'm now 50. I should do. The hangover lasted two days. And each decade is a milestone and should be a time for a reflection. But 50, really. The full realisation came just a bit earlier on. I was signing up for Netflix. Not a big deal, you'd think, at my age. But you'd be wrong. It's the boxes, you see? The boxes. I've moved up one. Or should that be down one? Just two days ago, I was in the 18 to 49s. Now, I'm in the 50 to 75 box. I now seem to be in with a very different crowd. And after that, there's only one more box. 75, and then a blank space. And you know what that blank space is? Yes, that's the space you used to occupy, but you are no more. A blank. Oblivion. Nothingness. That's it. You're gone. You are now unsubscribed from this service. I'm 50 years old and two days. Sorry about the end of the last one. We've had a few comments about the general tone. Well, one. From Graham. It's a bit bloody depressing, isn't it? Was the main feeling. I think it was the hangover still having an effect. Anyway, in the spirit of positive thinking, we are now taking on our fifth decade on the planet as an adventure. We are compiling the bucket list. Don't mind me. I'm just putting some towels away. I'm broadcasting live to the nation. Actually, the whole planet. The whole planet? Right now? Potentially. Potentially. Hmm. How many? I'm building an audience. From a foundation of what? So far, two. So, Graham and... Not sure who the other one is. Could be one of them robot, spider, crawler, automated things. You know, the Russians. Or the Chinese. The Russians or the Chinese are interested in your podcast. Could be. We're not far from Salisbury. This bucket list of yours. You need some new reading glasses. It's not a shopping list. It's what you want to have achieved looking back on your life when you're on your deathbed. I thought you weren't being so morbid on this one. It's not morbid. It's positive. Proactive. Proactive? While you're talking about buckets, we do need a new one. A new bucket? For the garden. I'm not putting buy a bucket on my bucket list. Oh, I've lost my train of thought now. I'll have to come back to this. Good. You can put these socks away for me. Mm-hmm.